Badr Hari is regarded as one of the greatest kickboxers of all time. His highlight reel is full of incredible finishes, earning him the nickname The Golden Boy. But kickboxing fans also refer to him with another nickname, Bad Boy. I've been fighting for so long, I knocked out the top of the top of the heavyweight division. But now, now it's a time that I want something that's more than just winning fights or writing history, you know? Like I said, I want eternal glory. I want people to talk about me even when I'm gone. Badr Hari's kickboxing career is full of controversial moments, both inside and outside of the ring. And despite having reformed somewhat, it's hard not to remember all of those crazy moments in the life of Badr Hari. So let's take a look at a few. In-ring drama. First, we're gonna start off with a few from inside the ring. Hari has a record of 106 wins with 16 losses and two no contests. The majority of those 106 wins come via KO or TKO, which is why he's so beloved by his fans. Hari is an all-out action fighter who seems to always deliver entertaining fights. However, sometimes his aggressive fighting style has come back to bite him. Two of those 16 losses came via disqualification because of Badr Hari's actions. First of these came in 2008 against Remy Bonjaski. Hari had suffered a knockdown in the first round and perhaps that had fired him up and made him angry because in the second round, he managed to trip Remy to the ground. But as the referee came to separate the two so Remy could get back to his feet, Hari proceeded to throw a couple of punches and then a stomping kick, which connected with Remy's head. So it was not surprising that Hari was DQ'd for this illegal move. And you would think that Hari would learn his lesson, but in 2010, he committed a similar foul against Hezdi Gergis. Well, what was odd about this fight was that Hari had a ton of success during the fight. He rocked Gergis a few times and after dropping him in the second, as Gergis was getting back to his feet, Hari soccer kicked him and dropped him again. Of course, this resulted in a DQ and another loss. These in-ring behaviors coincided with some of the drama outside of the ring, which is perhaps why we saw all of these random and absurd outbreaks from Hari. Backstage Drama And it wasn't like anyone was willing to stand in his way when Hari was in one of his hot-headed moods because it was quite a scary sight, as he looked like he might assault anyone within arm's reach. But his hot-headed nature had been part of Hari since his younger days. You can go all the way back to 2006, when Hari was set to fight Peter Graham at K1 World Grand Prix. After a heated press conference, Hari found Graham backstage and attempted to sucker punch him. Even though Hari landed a partial blow, Graham managed to get a hold of him before security and other people separated the two. Of course, Graham famously got his revenge on Hari inside the cage with a rolling thunder KO. And we aren't even counting the several other heated moments after wins or losses that resulted in him exploding backstage in frustration. All of this in-ring drama is only scratching the surface when it comes to the wild and crazy life of Badr Hari. The real juicy stuff plays outside of the ring. As Badr Hari star shined brighter inside of the ring, his actions outside of it were spotlighted even more so. Since 2006, Hari has faced several police charges and has even failed some drug tests. In 2010, Hari faced two different assault charges. The first one came in February after a nightclub bouncer was assaulted by several people, including Hari himself. While the very next month, he drove recklessly into a closed street and ended up injuring a pedestrian's leg. Now, This was around the same time that Hari was making his mark in the kickboxing world so it seems like he kept getting in his own way. In 2011, he would have three major incidents, first of which came in July where he was accused of damaging his ex-girlfriend's property and even assaulting her. While in that very same month, Hari assaulted a nightclub owner and his friend and even broke the owner's teeth with a kick. And later that year, he was once again caught assaulting someone, this time his ex-girlfriend's stepbrother. Guess it isn't enough to beat people up inside the ring for Badr Hari, he has to do it even outside of the ring. In 2012, it seemed as if Hari had run out of luck and would have to pay for his actions. In a now famous case, Hari assaulted Dutch millionaire Cohen Everink in a nightclub. Everink would suffer a broken nose, eye socket, and ankle all at the hands of Badr Hari. Hari ended up turning himself into the police and would face aggravated assault and attempted manslaughter charges. Yeah, that's some serious charges right there. 
He would be sentenced to two years in prison for his actions, but served only half a year in prison before being released. Although after his prison sentence, Hari did reel back his out-of-the-ring behavior, he still had a couple more controversies inside of it. After making a successful return to kickboxing, Hari suffered another setback and added to the list of controversial moments in his life after he failed a drug test in 2018 for his fight against Gergis. He would face a 19-month suspension. And if anyone was following Hari on social media at the time, you weren't surprised that he failed that drug test. It looked like Hari could step onto Mr. Olympia platform anytime and meddle. For all of his legal issues and problems, Hari did speak candidly on the situation. Quote, I am able to explode at any moment. When my brakes are off, it's just one big clump of explosion, chaos, and noise, and I become blind to it all. A storm, a hurricane, a disaster, there just is a certain aggression inside of me, which I don't know what to do with and neither where it comes from. So it is clear that despite the reckless and crazy behavior, Hari does have plenty of self-understanding. He doesn't see himself as a victim and understands that there is something within him that needs to be changed. And Badr Hari has made an effort to change. Reformed Behavior Since his return to kickboxing, Hari has managed to stay relatively controversy-free. Perhaps the most controversial moment that has happened since is the riot that took place during Glory 80 as Badr Hari fans were just a bit too excited to see their hero fight in front of them. And that's the thing about Badr Hari. No matter what he does, he has an extremely loyal fan base. These ride or die fans show up in droves to support their kickboxing hero, and sometimes they go a bit overboard. Those who are close to Hari say the real reason for his change has been his family. Hari has four daughters and a son, and in order to be a better role model for them, it seems as if Hari has dialed back the crazy side of him. Now he only brings it out inside of the ring, for the most part. And the also general maturing of a person that they go through is Hari was very young when he found fame in the kickboxing world, which seemed to have gone to his head. And can you blame him? If you're in your 20s and are considered one of the best fighters on the planet and people praise your aggressive fighting style, it must be hard to dial it back in when you aren't fighting. Also, since his return to kickboxing, Hari has found himself on the other side as he has lost several fights. And that alone can be humbling. Since reforming, Hari has even made friends with past rivals such as Alistair Overeem, with whom he had two epic kickboxing fights back in the day, and they are set to cap off the trilogy later this year. So if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us break down the wildest and craziest moments of Badr Hari's life. We'll see you next time.